What is up, guys? We are back with another terror build, and this one's going to be Kyogre. He's going to be the partner to the Groudon, but this one is going to be covering water. So let's jump into it. So Kyogre is probably going to be our most powerful water attacker, and he does very high damage whenever he's all set up and just pretty much base. So in this one, I did go ahead and give him a Mystic Water that gave him that item to go ahead and power up his water type moves because we are going to be leaning into that. And you could give him leftover Shell Bell, something to heal up. You know, it all is up to you. I'm using the Mystic Water to go ahead and boost our water moves since I am leaning into that and I'm not wanting to take the drawback from the Life Orb. So let's go ahead and jump into the moves. So the moves are very interesting here because you can run Calm Mind. Calm Mind is going to be your ability to set up. You're going to be boosting your special attack, which you are going to be a special attacker. And you're going to be boosting your special defense while you're doing that. So you're going to be able to be very, very bulky. Then we go on to Hydro Pump. Water Spout is his signature move or a more high power move, but that is only relative to your HP. So you have to be full health to pretty much take advantage of it. And if you're going to be sitting in the terror raid, you're going to be taking damage 99.9% .9 of the time. So it is not going to be that good of an option. So your next one is going to be Hydro Pump. I would recommend PP maxing that to go ahead and give you the full eight turns. And you can do massive damage with it because it is stab. And as you can see, we do have Rain Dance on this set. You do set the weather. So you do go in and you do set the weather. But if it does go away, you can just reset it. No problem. And if you are doing Calm Mines, <laughs> a Hydro Pump in rain with max Calm Mines is going to do lots and lots of damage. And don't even get me started on if you are terroring. Then our last move is going to be Ice Beam. Ice Beam is a pretty solid coverage move. You have lots of options here to actually go with coverage moves. But Ice Beam is a more relative one. You could go with Thunder, Thunderbolt, Thunder, whichever one you want. That is 100% in the rain. So, you know, you do set the weather. Gives you 100% Thunder. You can't miss. Very strong electric attack. Ice Beam is just going to be the coverage move, sir. Ice, like if you want to go for grass terror raids or something like that with him, you could, but that is up to you. He does get like Aqua Ring, Helping Hand, Thunder Wave. You know, he has a very good move pool. So if you do want to swap something out, you definitely can. But the main moves I would recommend running on him is Calm Mine and Hydro Pump. Those two together are going to be doing massive amounts of damage within the terror raids. So let's jump over to the spread and show you how we're going to be surviving and dishing out six star KOs. So for our spread, we are going to be going with a 96 in HP, a 160 in defense, and a 252 in a special attack with that modest nature. And modest nature is going to be boosting our special attack and lowering our physical attack. And with that, you're able to live everything because your special defense is so high. And that once you do put that investment in, your physical defense is going to be sitting very, very well, especially off your HP. And then his ability is going to be Drizzle, as you can see, makes you set the rain every time you come into battle. So that's going to be very nice. If you do get knocked out somehow, you will guarantee that you set it back, which is always going to be nice to have that weather reset every time you come in. But that is why I ran Rain Dance, because I never really got knocked out. And Hydro Pump was able to just carry everything all the way. So we are able to get into this terror raid. We are going to be able to do pretty much whatever we want. Just like normal within a terror raid, if you do not have a move that boosts your attack, you would come in and attack cheer. For this instance, we have Calm Mind. Calm Mind is going to be what we do here to go ahead and just get our attack going up. Once you get some of these off, you are you're pretty much able to do whatever you want. No problems, no questions asked. You just do work. Anything that is not resistant, anything that is not resisted to water 
is going to get knocked out by Kyogre. It's just pretty much that straightforward. He is definitely going to be the new water attacker for Terror Raids. And it's definitely a reason why he is the king of the sea for that reason. Especially mixing it with a mystic water. But we are able to get in there and do whatever we want. Get Be able to knock it out. No problems. <laughs> no questions asked. Ogre is going to be very deadly within the six star raids and helps you solo pretty much anything now this is my kyogre set let me know what you're running on them and let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more terror raid builds like these i have a lot of them on the channel but let me know if there's anything you want covered and if you're enjoying these terror raid builds and i'll catch you guys in the next one